Another topic that you touched on just briefly was inflammation. And so many people we talk to say that that is probably a root cause of so many chronic conditions. Do you think that's the case and, and how do we prevent or avoid that? Yeah, chronic inflammation, absolutely. So, you know, and it's confusing for people because they're like, what does that really yeah. mean? You know, and it's, um, the way I describe it is with a, a metaphor. So if, if you were to get a cut, the response that we typically associate with that is, you know, your the skin gets red and swollen, mm. it hurts. Um, and that's all this acute inflammatory response. And so what's happening in that response is your immune system has been triggered to the injury. And there's a lot of chemicals that are getting released in that area that are calling a lot of other activities, more immune cells to kind of clean up the debris, make sure there's no infection. Uh, blood vessels are opened up so that you can get nutrients to the area. Um, there's chemicals that are secreted to cause cells to divide faster so it heals up. That's all perfect if there's a mm -hmm. cut. But what if that cut never goes away? And now you've got all those same chem chemicals, maybe at a lower level, but all those same chemicals are being secreted in your body all the time. So now we've got messages that are keeping your immune system uh, active, but in a dysregulated way. We've got chemicals that are causing cells to divide more rapidly than they should. We've got a body that's growing blood vessels where they shouldn't. So all these things are attributes of of tumor progression and cancer. So this sort of chronic inflammatory state has all the hallmarks of what it takes to go from a malignant cell to a tumor. And what we know is that this state of chronic inflammation is in turn the result of uh, several things, including instead of a cut, maybe you're eating something, some food that you're not uh, able to digest very well, so you're reacting to immunologically in the same way that you would if you had a cut and you eat that food every day. So that can cause this inflammatory response. Or if you carry extra weight and the weight that you carry, the, the uh, fat cells are metabolically active, they can actually secrete these inflammatory hormones which then circulate systemically. So just having metabolically active fat can create this inflammatory milieu in our body. Um, and this is, again, where chronic stress, the, under the influence of chronic stress, we can actually, again, kind of initiate and, and maintain this inflammatory environment. So you kind of start to see a pattern of just all the things we intuitively know are not consistent with healthy living. One of the things they all have in common is they all feed into this chronic inflammatory process, which for sure is going to promote uh, the tendency for the risk of cancer. Mm -hmm. And when we have inflammation, like you said, from something that we eat all the time that we don't digest very well, that's something we might not recognize as we would a cut on our mm -hmm. hand or arm. So how do we know if that might be our problem? Right. So that, that's a good point. And so that's, again, where going to an integrative practitioner mm -hmm. can be very helpful and they can do some testing for you um, mm -hmm. to test foods to see if you're reacting to them. Uh, there's certain tests that they can do on your digestive tract or, f or from markers in your blood to determine if you might be reacting to certain foods. So there's d different, and they, can ask, uh, and they can guide you through what's called an elimination challenge mm -hmm. diet. And so there's lots of different ways to, to figure that out. So the good news is we, we can figure it out. But yes, to your point, it's not obvious.